For example, when you are using images on your lecture note, where do you get the images from? <laughs> Google, okay? Okay, now comes the issue about metadata and Google usage. Okay, now our site, right, our Smart Tree and Smart 2 are basically CCBY sites. CCBY means Creative Commons, what Prof Hong mentioned earlier. We cannot introduce copyrighted material into our site unless you have a written permission from the publisher of that content. So we cannot do that. If we do that, the metadata file, basically all the data, ha we have, uh, you all are aware of metadata, right? Metadata. Basically, you have your file and then you have hidden information about the file regarding the author and the link and whatever else. So that is carried forward into our system. Now, if a bot, a bot is basically a search engine, looks through the our smart tool, it will find the copyrighted material and that pre presents a big challenge for us, a legal challenge because it opens up doors to all legal problems. So I give you the site where you can get images from. To get images, right, you go to Creative Commons. I will give you the site. So it's Creative Commons. Creative Commons. Okay. This is the site. Zul will copy and give you the URL for that. Okay. It's called creativecommons.org. Okay. So this one has images for reuse by everyone. Commercial, non-commercial, anything. You can search with Google, but with Google, you'll have to look through a search engine. You'll have to find the image. You'll have to determine the license. You have to, it's a big job. So you just use Creative Commons, which is faster and better. Okay, so this is creativecommons.org. Okay, so are any of you using SlideShare? SlideShare account? SlideShare? SlideShare, you'll use SlideShare. So SlideShare is basically a lecture note given by other lecturers for redistribution. So you can use them. The slide chair is used for example. So this is Creative Commons. It's a search engine just like Google. Okay. And now I want you to find an image. So what you do is you search for CC image. You click here, search for CC image here. Okay. It will open up a window. It's sim similar to Google. You'll see a search image window. Okay. Now this is where it changes. This is where you have to be uh, selective with the image. Okay. If you are teaching Okay, you, are, you want something for commercial use. For example, you click here for commercial purpose and modify or adapt. Okay, okay. I'll tell you why I have put in those two search basically limiters. Okay, suppose you are teaching the Plumes course. Okay, Plumes course is a commercial course. Our courses for the student are non-commercial. We don't, uh, we basically don't uh, get generate an income or revenue from the student. So. These courses will allow you to use commercial, uh, non-commercial, you can click here. But suppose you are teaching an external course, please use, use for commercial purpose, which means when you create your lecture note for plumes, the student is basically paying for that, so it's allowing you to use image. Okay, if you are in UMS teaching our student, there's no need to use this. Click, Zul, click out this, click out. Okay, so if you are in UMS, we assume you are in UMS, but you need to click this, you can modify or adapt the image. Means suppose you take an image of, a, of a, for example, that day Zul took an image of a robot, so you want to modify it and make it from blue to green. So you can modify it. That allows you to use the image. Okay. So we search. Okay. So just for Malaysia map, we look for. Yeah, you can. Uh, you know, use, use, use for commercial. Just click. I think better to because our website is basically non-commercial. So you just use search. Okay. Okay. Now we have different kinds of maps for from Malaysia. Okay. So we have different map. So you can you can find the maps here. Okay. So okay. You can find a map, Zul, which is, so you'll find many images. Okay, Zul, go up, go up. Okay, I want to show the CC, BY, what is the CC. Okay, now how do you know the license for the image? For example, this is a map, just move your mouse over. Can you see these three? They are very small. If you search for image, you will see, you just put your mouse over and you'll see here. This is actually CC, BY, non-commercial, okay? Dollar sign, no, means you can use the image for a lecture, but you need, you, you, know, you cannot sell it, okay? So, that's a, so if you are teaching a plumes course, don't look for this. Move over the mouse on the other image. So this is another image, so you can move. So this is also non-commercial, this one. Okay, so this is also non-commercial, you move, so you cannot sell. So if you want to avoid this, you click on the, when you do the search, you say for commercial use also, okay? But we are a lecturer, so we can use this image. Okay, let's go and look at it. Cloud. So this is okay. This is CC BY and this is share alike. Means you can share it alike as as such. Okay. So you share the image as such. Okay. Why? When the share alike becomes important is when you have the and no derivatives. There's something called share alike and no derivative. This becomes important when you have an image. For example, you take an image of a politician, right? In a group, and then you Photoshop it and you put 
someone else's image to say, oh, I was with him. Okay? That is actually a derivative image. So when you want no derivative, means you want to record. For example, I want to record this class as it is, and I want to use it as evidence. You use the no derivative sign. So no derivative means the image is there. You cannot modify. You cannot Photoshop it. Okay? So for scientific research, we use no derivatives uh, because we need to create the image or keep it as such. Okay? So that's how. Okay. So this is the image. This is no, uh, it's uh, well known, right? Okay, right? Okay. So this is the image. Okay. Okay. This Malay Peninsula. Okay. So this is okay we, because we want to show you how to embed thing. Okay. So now we have this uh, map of the whole peninsula. It's an old map. It's free. Okay. Now. Zul wants to use this in his slide. So let's see how he actually endo attributes in his slide. Can you open PowerPoint, Zul? Open one PowerPoint. Zul is going to create one PowerPoint. For example, Zul is creating a lecture in which he wants to use the image and he wants to cite the Sumba, the source of this image. So what you do, you go to the image, you can go to the image, you can copy it, or you can download. Okay, this is the correct way to cite images. Okay, you save image first. Okay, save. Save image. Okay, now you have the image there. And then you need to copy the license. Okay, so we copy this. This is the license for the image. So you need to copy. Copy the whole thing. Copy. Okay, copy. Okay, now if you uh, go back to the Garis Panduan for the thesis, to write the thesis, right? In our, for our student, they have to write Sumba, the source. They write the source means they give the link or the URL and they put in the date, retrieved on so and so date. Okay, that's the way, correct way we cite. In the case of our lecture note, what we need to do, we need to copy this particular license. So this is actually a tassel, what they call a tassel. It's a title, the, the source, the, uh, the author and the link basically. It contains the title, <coughs> author, source and link. So it's called a tassel attribution. So in blended learning, the word TASL, you can Google it, is very important. It's the title, the title of the image, the author, the source, and the license link. So license is basically the CCBY license. So Zul will copy this now. He will copy it, and he will paste it. Okay, so this is done. So you can copy. You can uh, insert your image. Pictures. Image, okay, insert. And then you attach your license below. Okay. Okay, now you attach your license. Okay, that's the license. Okay. So this is actually uh, giving the license. So this has become the source or the Sumba for that particular image. And it's carrying a link. So if the student click on the link, they can go back to the image. So now you are perfectly safe. There is no, uh, no way anyone can sue you for copyright because your image is basically safe. Okay. Okay, Zul created this lecture. Okay, Tamba one page. Tamba one page. New page. Okay, and now you add your nota. For example, you add something, just put introduction and then something you add, introduction. Okay, and then you create. Okay, okay B, C, okay, just add, okay, save. Now, Zul created a lecture note. Now, assume that we are all lecturer, we are creating lecture note. How does Zul protect his lecture note? So, Zul has created a lecture note and he put it in the website, but somebody can download it, right? So, how do you protect yourself at the second level? You create a license for your lecture note. Okay, so how do, okay, i show you how to create. You go to this one, you go to, this, this is actually, all lecturers should be aware of this from the beginning. When you join UMS as a lecturer, we should be aware of CC licensing because all the lecture notes we created are basically just there. It's not attributed to you, you know. You upload it, it's gone. But you have no link to that lecture note because once it's in the system, it's basically free for all. But what are you getting out of it? You spend until 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning preparing lecture note and then you lose. So you need to create. So what we have is Creative Commons License Chooser. Okay, go to Creative. It's easy to find License Chooser. Okay, so you create. You can just Google that because it's easier to find using Google because the site is very, okay. This is called License Chooser Creative Commons. You just Google Creative Commons License Chooser. You just Google, you'll come here. Creative Commons License Chooser. You can Google, okay, and you'll see the, okay. So it's basically creativecommons.org with the word choose. You zoom, make it choose. Just type choose. Oh, I see, choose, okay, so choose. So that will tell you how to create the license. Okay. License Chooser, you just see uh, Dr. This one. Slash choose. Choose, you can, give, you can. 
yeah, reusing, mix, so you can reuse. Okay. I'll explain to you the basis for Creative Commons licensing. Okay. So in UMS, what they say, uh, we say, we tell you, the material should be original, but can we create everything original? We can't do that, right? We can't create uh, original content because we need to photograph, we need to document and put it. So we as lecturers are basically involved in the lecture create, content creation. So what do you do? You use other people's material, but you attribute it. Okay. So uh, this is one thing which we have to cap be careful of when we cite from, for example, Elsevier, Springer, Taylor and Francis, the commercial publisher, please do not use any image from those publications in your slide. Because when we use their images, right, it becomes an issue with the publisher. Because publisher has copyright on that image. So those ones cannot be used. Even in our student thesis, we cannot use that image because that is uh, copyright of the publisher. We need to get permission from the publisher okay, to use that. Okay, so this is the Creative Commons life. Oh, okay, let's see how you build your license. Move up, Atas. Okay, see. Okay. This is basically the form which generates the license for you. It's called a license chooser. Okay? It does not ask you any technical jargon, just two questions which you need to answer. Okay. The first one it asks you is this. Okay, go up. It asks you two questions. Okay, you, you, you can try it on your system. Okay. Your choice on the panel will update the following panel on, on this page, okay? Okay, the first question it asks you is this. Allow adaptations of your work to be shared. What they mean is, okay, what this means in uh, layman la, uh, term in our language is means, will you allow, like for example, I am a user, I go online, I can download your lecture and share it. Do you allow it? If you click yes, no, uh, or share alike, means, yes means you allow me to download. If you click no, it will say no, you cannot download, means basically you won't get a license. And then share alike means I have to download your lecture note, but I have to share it like how you shared it. Means if I say no, non-commercial, I have to be non-commercial. Okay, share alike means you share it alike. Okay, and then the other one is, it asks you the next question, allow commercial uses of your work. For example, some of the lecturer, they don't want to uh, have their, for example, I prepared lecture on some subject, which is, I'm the subject matter expert. I don't want other people to reuse my lecture that, as a commercial to make a course, then I say yes or no, okay? So let's see what happens, okay? Zul selected yes, and commercial uh, use of your work, he select no, okay? Go down. So this is the license, so it means CC, Creative Commons, uh, you, this is you, yourself, the man standing here is here and no dollar means no commercial use. Okay? So this is a form of license which prevents people from misusing your work for commercial use. They can use it but they can't commercialize it. Okay? Now how you, uh, you, how you transfer this license in your slide is like this, you copy, you copy this, have a web page, you copy, copy it and then you go back to your nota, the slide note. Okay? And then you paste it in the footer. You place in the footer of the page or on the first slide. Okay. Now the license is embedded in your page. So he has embedded the license in the page. So it means this work is created, uh, shared under Creative Commons license under this attribution. So this is the attribution for that particular page. Okay. So Zul Fadli has attributed himself for this slide. So that means your, your, your slides are now shared under the license. Okay? So as a good practice, as a good practice to protect yourself, make sure that this license is carried in the footer of each and every slide. Okay, just put it in the footer, you put the, and then you just make your slide. So put it on the footer on the first page, it will automatically go into each page. Okay? So that's how you, is it clear how you embed? So in future, Please protect your creative work, which is your lecture note, by using appropriate licensing for your work. Okay? But remember something about Creative Commons licensing. When you do Creative Commons licensing, you cannot introduce a single copyrighted content in the slide. Okay? That's, that's the caveat you have to be careful of. We cannot introduce copyrighted material in the slide <coughs> because it's shared under Creative Commons licensing. Okay? Okay, so, okay, I'll give you the alternative. Okay, this is the extreme other alternative. If you are using copyrighted material on your side, you cannot avoid because you need to have it. Okay, please take a permission from, you email the publisher of that work, get permission from them, return permission by email, and you can attach it to your lecture note that you got creative commons, uh, I mean you got a copyright permission. Okay, if you want to copyright your slide, you, f uh, you compile all your slide note, you can fill up the Borang IP3 from PPI and get a copyright. Okay. If you feel your slide is so valuable that it can be copyrighted, please apply for copyright. You take your slides, you fill up the Borang IP3, you can download from PPI website, apply for copyright. 
copyright, it becomes Hak Chipta. So it adds to your ELNPT in the Hak Chipta section. It adds as a, yeah, because Hak Chipta, copyright is Hak Chipta. So copyright is the easiest way to protect your lecture content because you're getting copyright and it only costs 250 ringgit. They will pay for you to do the processing. You submit to PPI, they will copyright for you. Okay, so you can either copyright under MIPO. So under the MIPO, Malaysian Intellectual Property Organization, when you copyright, you get the benefit of that. Anything from commercial use, you will get benefit plus your children. It goes on for 25 years after we pass away. <laughs> okay, I think 25 years. So it's a copyright is a benefits the children as well. <laughs> okay, so that's the advantage of copywriting. But if you don't want to copyright, please select the minimum license, which is CC DY, the Creative Commons license. Okay, so Zul has created a slide. So what uh, what should I save it in? Can you tell me what should I save this as? As PPT or PDF? PDF. PDF. Always PDF. It comes down to PDF because if anyone opens, it's basically saved. So now he has created this uh, license and your slide is stored. Okay. Now you want to go one step further basically to enable that slide to be linked to you directly at all times. You As long as you're in UMS is, and even after you leave, UMS is linked to you. How you do this? You go to OER. Okay, so we'll go to OER. Go to OER. Yeah, okay. OER.UMS.EDU.MY. Okay, so this is our OER. Loading? Okay, loading. It'll load. Okay. So what